Hey everybody, Matthew here, CanadianRenegade.com. Today I'm going to talk about this bizarre hatchet multi-tool. It's kind of weird. Alright, so the other day I found this lying around in the garage. And I think originally I had gotten it for Christmas about two years ago, I think. I'm not entirely sure where it came from, to be honest. Uh, but it was just lying around with a bunch of other knickknacks I had. And couldn't find my hatchet, but this was lying in you know, within eyesight, so I decided, well, let's give this a try, and um, I'll show you how it works, but uh, I don't know if there's a brand, it's probably made in China, it has a, there's a little, um, like, nut or bolt, two different sizes there on the head, you got the hammer side, the axe side, it's reasonably sharp, um, I don't like this design, you can tell it's just kind of a novelty, uh, because the head is riveted on here, and this is just uh, sheet metal that's bent over, There's, this is a real leak or weak link. It's probably just going to break if you actually tried to use it like a hammer uh, or like a hatchet. Um, has a few other tools here. There's a blade, a small saw, which I think it's probably too short to actually even be useful, and uh, tape measure, screwdriver. There's a Phillips screwdriver and a bottle opener, so kind of like your standard cheap multi-tool. Uh, but let's see this thing in action. I was actually surprised that uh, for maybe specific applications this could be useful. So let's give this thing a shot, see how it performs. Uh, first I'm going to try using it like a little hatchet or an axe and kind of kind of hold it uh, kind of just at the end so I can get more of like a swing to it. Because like this, it's just not going to, I just don't think that's going to work. So. Alright, so you can see it's not really working that great as like an axe or a hatchet. So what I'm going to try, and this is how I was using it before that actually was fairly effective was I was batoning it or I was actually using a rubber mallet but I figured I'd try it with a baton because if you're going to actually be using this for other than like a novelty, you probably are going to have it you know, out in the woods or something. So I figured I'd try it like that. You can see that it, it's reasonably, reasonably effective. Maybe not so much when it gets the wood gets thicker. Um. Oh. Try another piece here. That one was being uncooperative. So you can see it's not too bad as a little mini hatchet. Um, you gotta be pretty careful you don't take a finger off if you're gonna hold it like this. Um, when the pieces are smaller, I did notice that you can actually split them. If you can get them to stand up for you. Okay, so I think I'd probably still prefer a bushcraft knife or just like a larger, wider blade knife as like a multi-purpose tool out in the woods. But for some tasks, this might actually be effective. So for something that's probably like a $10 gift or trinket, it's it can be used for some things, but uh, generally the quality I, I'm suspect of, especially uh, right here where it's riveted on. So if it had a little bit sturdier design, it, it might be a little bit more useful. Hopefully you found this video entertaining. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and uh, until then have a good day.